bite you on one condition. That you lower your nipple. Hercules Returns, or should I say Hercules Redubbed, is a film unlike anything you've ever seen before. Funnier than Gandhi, sexier than The Little Mermaid, and shorter than Dances with Wolves. There has never been an Australian film like it before or since. One more! Uh, uh, hold on a sec, will ya? I'm all sweaty, you know. Yeah, yeah that's better, come on. Uh. You're watching Pick of the Flicks with Tony Douglas, and welcome to my review series on wacky comedies from the 1980s and 90s. Those hilarious films with quotable lines that take you back to a happy time when a trip to your local video store was a major event. Today's movie review is the hilarious sword and sandal spoof, Hercules Returns, starring David Argue, Mary Kutzis and Bruce Spence. This 1993 cult comedy from Down Under takes a lost 1960s peplum, tickles its funny bone and leaves you wondering what Hercules movie is this and where the heck is Steve Reeves? The novelty factor of Hercules Returns is seeing bulging biceps, nymphs in figure-hugging togas and feats of strength all set to the backdrop of hilarious sound effects. We get a cavalcade of funny voices, wacky sounds and strong men saying cheeky things they could get slapped for. We even get Hercules crooning his way through a pop tune and let's not forget the Hercules rap on the end credits. Hercules Returns tells the story of Brad McBain, a film buff who decides to set up his own cinema by revamping an old picture theatre. On opening night, Brad intends to screen the epic Hercules movie that was the last film screened at the cinema before it closed. Unfortunately, when the film arrives with its original Italian soundtrack, Brad and his friends are forced to improvise with new dialogue, new sound effects and a new storyline direct from the projection booth. Writer-creator Des Mangan provides most of the voices, including those of Hercules, Samson Machismo, and Ursus. Yes, Hercules Returns is a Hercules film like no other, because the Hercules component is a movie within a movie. The filmmakers have taken the 1964 Alan Steele film Samson and the Mighty Challenge and made it the centrepiece of this hilarious comedy. I've always wondered if Alan Steele ever got around to seeing himself in this uproarious spoof that turns the Hercules subgenre on its head. Although Steele's forts have never been made public, audiences from around the world have been vocal in its appraisal, with some claiming it's the funniest film ever made. While it may not be the funniest ever, it does have an infectious spirit that rubs off on you. What can I do for you? Mrs. Sampson, I presume? It's Miss Delilah. My, my, my Delilah. Don't you dare think about doing the next bit. Oh, why, 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 Delilah? In essence, the fun of Hercules Returns is seeing a slice of epic cinema drenched in stupidity, where the actors are saying things they shouldn't be saying. It's easy to see why Hercules Returns has an international fan base. It's wacky, way out and funnier than a muscle man singing, tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. One thing is for sure, Hercules Returns is a quirky, oddball film with a cleverness that is hard to shake. And I must say that the print of Samson and the Mighty challenge that was used for the redub has never looked better or for that matter sounded better well now it's over to you what do you think of the film do you love it do you hate it or is it just okay better still would you watch it again or recommend it to a friend we want to know your thoughts so please have your say in the comments below if you're a fan of wacky comedies be sure to subscribe and keep a lookout for more reviews coming your way until next time Time, this is Tony Douglas, Talk and Movies for Pick of the Flicks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.